Really, anyone can put it together. A radio transmitter about the size of a quarter goes in first. A battery goes on top of that. You give it a twist, and you're on. And that's it. Nylon band goes through there, and it goes on to a um, child or an adult on their wrist or their ankle. A lifesaver whose unique frequency is detectable in up to seven feet of water. It's no bigger than a piece of jewelry. People with dementia, uh, traumatic brain injury, uh, persons with ASD that are runners, we call them runners, uh, they might get lost. And the numbers out there are staggering. In Allegheny County alone, some 4,000 children live with autism. Another 40,000 adults suffer from some form of dementia. People like 90 year old George Pohiba, who wandered away from his home back on June 10th and whose body wasn't found for 29 days. It could be a matter of life and death. If you follow the procedures, uh, somebody gets lost and you notify 911 right away, uh, the, the probability of finding somebody is, is pretty high. It's, it's a pretty good chance that you'll find somebody alive and well. The Allegheny County District Attorney's Office is footing this bill using money from drug dealers to pay for each $300 transmitter. It chirps every one second. And every $1,400 receiver. You know you're getting closer because that chirp will become more intense. People with an at risk loved one need just pick up the phone and apply. The average tracking time is about a half hour. Um, so if you can find someone within a half hour, that could be life saving before they can get into water or a situation where they could be uh, killed. Project Lifesaver, they call it, and for good reason.